Hey everyone, have I here been a video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be doing a full breakdown and some fun little team builds for the LR Dokkan Festo exclusive Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So yeah, finally we get a 170% leader for join forces in the Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. This is the part two Dokkan Festival exclusive LR and they really just skipped it to a 200% which is actually very amazing. Now let's go ahead and break down this unit here. First and foremost the card arts initially is uh, is pretty good. You know the SSR card art isn't as top tier I think as some of the other ones we've seen. It's very unusual to see a action pose on the SSR when it comes to LRs but uh, you know all in all it's fine but uh, nothing so special here. The TUR is very interesting because it's a profile shot for Vegeta and Goku so that's a lot different than we normally see in a unit so but hey you know what the LR art is amazing it looks incredible and uh, yeah let's go ahead and dive into the stats and the info here i mentioned before join force is 170 percent they went from 150 i was like when are they gonna get 170 and now we're in this 200 percent meta so they just skipped all that and said hey we're just gonna provide a 200 percent leader here and it's a really good leader skill join forces movie heroes 170 percent across the board and a 30 percent boost to pure saiyans category so having that 200% there, I'm very happy they didn't really limit it. For example, like maybe a Super Saiyan or something even worse uh, for the 30% boost. But Pure Saiyans, you're going to have a lot of options when you're able to get that boost there. So the Super Attack, the 12 key is the cooperation between rivals. Raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage to an enemy. And then the 18 key is the full power crash. Also raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to enemy and greatly lowers attack and defense. So that's going to be very useful when you're doing super battle road and things of that nature. So a little bit extra, extra benefit when you're using this unit. Now the passive skill is extraordinary fighters. Uh, key plus three attack and defense 150% right off the bat. Reduces damage received by 20%. So that is a given uh, all the time 20% damage mitigation. On top of that, you get plus additional key per key sphere obtained. We've seen a lot of that with Dokkan Festival exclusive units, especially when it's, uh, you know, the pure Saiyans, Goku and Vegeta here. And then launches an additional attack and has a high chance of becoming a super attack, 50% chance of becoming a super attack. And an additional 20% damage reduction for three turns from the start of the turn. So very, very strong if you're able to get that... Um, that proc in additional attack to get a 40% damage reduction. So that's gonna be very, really, very really strong there. Uh, plus an additional attack defense 50% and a medium chance to perform a critical hit when performing a ultra super attack. So additional proc opportunities there and then receives a morale boost when conditions are met. So that is a very interesting uh, benefit here. This morale boost gives you a opportunity to uh, you know do a little bit of a costume change here and then uh you're gonna get a little i don't know if it's a boost though it's very interesting how they ended up doing this uh, i'll talk about that in a second but you're able to do the morale boost when you um get seven attacks received or more or and three and three super attacks so it's a combination of both um interesting to see why they ended up doing that they should have actually just had a or and i think that would have been a lot better so three or more super attacks or receives attack seven, uh, seven more times would have been a better uh, opportunity but it's three super attacks and seven attacks very interesting why they provided that kind of limitation anyway the link skill is golden warrior super saiyan saiyan lineage shocking speed prepare for battle fierce battle legendary power very very strong link set there and then the categories is the most disappointing of the unit here being that it's only on seven categories so pure saiyans full power joint forces movie heroes super saiyans all at struggle and powerful comeback would have liked to see a couple more on here again we have well over 80 different categories and this is only going to be running on seven of them the stats are very very strong 21,005 21,002 for H uh, for attack and then 13 8, 8, 8 for defense so overall I really like the kit here um, but I mentioned before the morale boost is very interesting when you transform or you do a costume change here you everything stays the same except for the passive skill so the passive skill becomes the roused fighters and you keep the keep us to attack and defense 150 percent and, but instead of 20%, you reduce damage by 30%, but you're you're not able to get another proc of another 10%. So you lose 10% damage mitigation when you actually transform here. So because all you're getting is a plus additional key plus two, or actually this is additional, you get additional key plus two 
with a um, with a sphere uh, with type key sphere obtained. So you're getting plus four versus plus three uh, from the pre-transformation. So that's an added benefit. And then launches the additional attack with a great chance of becoming a super attack, seventy percent chance. Maybe that's why because you have a higher higher chance of getting your thirty percent defense uh, boosted up on your twelve key additional super attack. And I don't know, but I still would have liked to see additional 10% somewhere that you can go ahead and proc. Then you get a plus additional um, 50% and it's still that medium chance and a critical hit would be um, when performing ultra super attack. But you do get a perform a critical hit full on full out when you're uh, using the active skill or when your key is 24. So getting enough uh, key will boost you and you can actually do quite a bit of damage there. So I, I think the kit is interesting. Maybe it's stronger because of the additional proc there. I would have just liked to see that 10% proc somewhere um, in this in this new passive skill. But anyway, active skill, you do get an additional active skill here. can be activated when facing one enemy from the starting for the next turn, and then causes damage, and uh, ultimate damage, and stuns the enemy for one turn. So that's the active skill there. I, again, all in all, I think the unit uh, is solid. It's a great unit, especially with the amount of teams and different, different um, rotations you can run. We're going to show that in the team builds right here. So... But in, in the description, note, tell me what you guys think. Now, let's talk about Joint Forces. Because Joint Forces, to me, was one of these teams where I was like, man, if this ever got a 170 during the 170% meta, I was like, this could be, like, the best team in the game. And, uh, I got, yeah, like I said, they just skipped all that. Because we're just looking at the super options here. We also have extreme options you can run. I didn't really focus too, many on, too much on that. But when you look at the super options here, yes, JP has LRGG. Global doesn't have it, but that's coming up pretty soon. But look at the different options here, right? It's a ton of top tier units, a ton of Easy Aid LRs on here. You got future Easy Aid LRs and GoBros and Beerus and Kellen Khalifa. Those are going to Easy Aid pretty soon. Then you got some, a lot of newer LRs as well that, you know, who knows if they're going to Easy Aid anytime soon, but still, just combinations you can no normally not run because you're running generally was at 150%. Now, a lot of these are pure Saiyans, so you can run at 200% with some of these combinations. So very interesting and very strong category boost in joint forces. It's going to be very fun to run these teams. So let's take a look at some teams here. So let's start off with just the team that I would think most people will run if you have all these units here. And that's going to be uh, joint forces movie, movie heroes combination. And if you want to run the Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta in the main rotation, you're gonna run something like this. You know, now you might just you know switch it up a little bit and actually put this in second position versus first position in the Carnival Goku and things of that nature. But you know, you can you know mix and match when it comes to uh, these rotations here. And now if you're you're going up against like really super hard uh, content like Cell Max things of that nature, you're gonna definitely uh, not put them in the first slot. So uh, generally, the the unit's gonna be more of a second slot. A floater type of position but uh, again if you're just gonna run on main rotation that might look something like this you can run the seven-year anniversary units on on here you can run LRGG you can run all these different types of uh, of combinations the one thing that we don't have um, is a very good support that's universal now Piccolo is amazing he can support uh, defense and give you attack if you're up against a movie boss or things of that nature so he's going to be very strong he can tank and, and do a lot of different things and generally you're going to run the Piccolo as the support here but uh, uh, we don't have a lot of different support you can have PyCon you can even have the, uh, the, the movie Krillin there the hair Krillin um, he's going to provide a little bit of support there as well so you know, some combinations but not as many as I would like on um, on this type of team, but it's better than some other categories uh, that I've mentioned before. So if you're going to run maybe like a pure Saiyans, you can run a full pure Saiyans 200% team uh, with a um, support unit in the Bro uh, Broly and Paragon or Paragon Paragus. So that that unit needs to get easy like really soon because you really generally can't run that unit uh, at all in any kind of content <laughs> he's gonna you know gonna get wrecked but generally speaking this you can run basically all a full 200 percent team if you're running full per saiyan so uh, again a lot of options as you can see here as if you don't have some of these units here you can run different combinations and it's gonna run very very good if you're gonna run maybe a, a full movie heroes uh, team this is my what it looks like you're gonna have a lot more options you have an additional option in a support unit in the movie hero support 40% uh, Gohan there so 
Uh, this might be the combination you might run if you do want to kind of max out a little bit on the damage on Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta here due to the fact of that 40% boost support. So, uh, of course, you can bring multiple support as well if you feel like, you know, you don't have another slot for a floater. But uh, you can even run three different support units, which actually I didn't I should have made that slide is actually have all the uh, bottom uh, support units there running on the rotation so you can have multiple support. Um, but you know again that is an option you can run so another you know option you can run would be if you're going to be doing a more difficult event you're you're generally like i said not going to run super saiyan goku and vegeta in the main slot rotations on here so you're going to probably put them down in a uh, in a floater position and just bring the higher end defensive units on top to uh you know mitigate uh, damage and to deal with uh that first position like Piccolo can do that, right? Piccolo, you can just move Piccolo here and uh, he can uh, take up any mo main rotation spot as a defensive unit. So a uh, team that you can also run is a full AGL team, not as so strong. It's not, it's you know interesting, but uh, nothing fantastic in like amazing rotations. You know, if they, if they easy this unit in, in part three, uh, that would be very beneficial, but you know, we'll see what happens in part three and what we're actually going to get there. Now on to like the different combinations. I mentioned, you know, combinations is a really, really strong benefit for this unit here. And when you look at the different combinations that you can run, they're just amazing or they're just going to be very unusual ones that you normally can't do on other teams. So if you're going to run this off off rotation with the Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta, uh, a strong double main rotation that you can run, of course, is Carnival Goku with Goku and Gohan LR. And then, of course, the seven year anniversaries on a rotation. Anytime you can run the seven year anniversaries on a own rotation, they're going to be fantastic. Now, some unusual options you can run. Uh, and in this case, you actually can get all type uh, type advantages here as well. It's something like this. This is one of the few un a few teams, if, if not the only team, that you can run the Goku Piccolo, Goku Piccolo combination. And in this case, you're going to run 170% because they're not full pure Saiyans. But still, it's going to be a very fun and unique rotation that you can run that normally you can't run on any other team. Uh, something like a Future Trunks and, or Trunks and uh, Future Gohan rotation with Gogeta is, again, very interesting and very different. Uh, you can even run something like this where you can say, I'm going to separate the Goku Piccolo, Goku Piccolo, and then I'm going to run this very unusual combination of, of Hit and... Uh, and then the Krillin and Gohan, the Krillhan, right? So uh, that's very unique and unusual. And then finally, is this finally here? Yeah, finally I have one more here. That's going to be very different, of course. LRGG is on, um, on JP, but you can run like this kind of combination here. You can even run Gopunks with, uh, with the uh, future Go uh, Gohan and Trunks. So just weird combinations like this you can run, and it's viable. <laughs> it's just, it's just again. Uh, Joint Forces is one of these uh, categories, one of these teams that you have so many uh, LRs on them. It's quite amazing. So anyway, wanted to run this breakthrough you know, breakdown with you here. Just a, again, a different types of combination, different types of teams here. Most likely a lot of people are going to run this team or some, some version of this team here. And again, very, very strong Joint Forces. 170% plus that 30% superior Saiyans. Um, very, very good here. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section below about this LR here. Do you like them? Do you don't like them? Uh, what's missing? Uh, did you pull them? Things of that nature. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. And if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on dokoning. We'll catch you next time. Later.